During his time at Colorado State, Ryan Stonehouse rewrote the Ram record books, setting the NCAA career average with a 47.8 yards per punt. Now he's doing big things that no NFL punter has ever done. Hi everybody, I'm Jesse Kurtz here in the Mountain West Network where it's my honor to head to Southern California and bring in the former Ram, Ryan Stonehouse. Ryan, it is great to see you. How are you, my friend? Doing great, doing great. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. Um, I mean, it's always great to kind of, you know, come back to where your roots are. I mean, the Mountain West kind of made who I was and uh, it's an honor to be on. Well, it's an honor to have you on. There are big things to talk about. You just finished up your rookie season with the Tennessee Titans, and what a year it was for you. You set the NFL single-season punt average with a mark of 53.1 yards per punt, a record that had stood for over 80 years. You broke Sammy Baugh's record by nearly two full yards. How did you reach those marks in your first season in the NFL? Yeah, I mean, I definitely had a lot of goals this year. Um, one of them being, you know, increased my hang time and and really just, um, you know, continue what I did in college with my distance and everything. And, and you know, I felt like my offseason training really helped me out, um, kind of develop um, some of those little aspects of my game that I thought were, were missing. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I just took every game, you know, in stride this year. I didn't try to look forward or didn't, you know, didn't really think about the end too much. But um, I think that that's what helped me really. And I just kept – you know, stacking individual games. And, and by the end of it, I was like, man, like, I really do have a shot to do this, you know, and, and so that really helped me out a ton. You mentioned the offseason training, those things that were missing. What were those things that helped you? Yeah, so, so really a lot of it came down to being consistent, you know, hitting a nice turnover, you know, and try to do that every single time. You know, that just helped me maximize in the game. You know, the more 50 yard punts I hit, you know, I'd throw in a couple of 60s, you know, and that just overall, it really helped change the field position, not only for me, for the team. Um, you know, one other thing that I really tried to hone in on was was my hang time this off season. Um, in college, you know, I, I struggled a little bit early on with hang time, but, you know, my last year, I thought I, I, I increased it quite a bit, you know, so this off season, I really tried to focus on the hang time part. And, um, you know, I increased my average hang time this year. You know, I know it's not necessarily where I want to completely be at right now, but it was definitely an improvement uh, from college, which I was super happy with. Well, the news continues to get better and better. Your jersey and your cleats now are headed to Canton, Ohio, to be a part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Walk me through the moment when you heard that news. What was your reaction? Yeah, so Jared Puffer, our PR guy here, uh, he gave me a call and um you know, he's like, "Hey, I don't know if you're gonna believe it, but uh, they want they want your jersey and cleats for the the Hall of Fame." And I was like, "Nah, they don't. They don't want that." He's like, "He's like, yeah, they do." <laughs> so if you can get me those cleats and jersey as soon as you can, I'm like, "Man, that's such a cool honor." You know, like you're it's so humbling to kind of receive something like that. Um, you never expect things like that, and I think those are kind of the best accolades or honors you can get. It's something that you don't really expect. Um, and that was what was cool about it. And it was just really surreal. And I remember telling my family about it. And, you know, they just couldn't believe it. It was just a really cool honor. Uh, breaking records is nothing new to you. You've done it your entire career. You enjoyed that sensational career at Colorado State where you did wrap up your Ram career by setting the NCAA career punt average with an average of 47.8 yards per punt. Somehow, some way, in the greatest head scratcher uh, of the modern football era, you went undrafted. I'm curious, how much did that drive you to prove that not only you were an NFL player, but you could succeed at that level? Totally. I mean, yeah, it just made a chip on my shoulder a little bit more. I mean, I, I kind of knew, you know, there's a lot of things going against me. You know, I know the NFL has their prototype, you know, your prototypical body size and, you know, what you did in college and all this stuff. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it definitely drove me, you know, a little bit harder, you know, just to go prove to people that, hey, like I deserve, I deserved to be drafted. I also deserved a starting spot. And, um, you know, and when I went into camp with the Titans, I, like you said, I use that. I use that to, to say, you know what, like, what do I have to lose? You know, I don't, a lot of people don't even know who I am in the NFL, you know? And so I was like, there's really not that much pressure on me. You know what I mean? And so that's kind of what I use that and, and ultimately helped me, you know, through training camp, through competing with Kern. I mean, that was kind of the, the driving thing that was like, what do I got to lose? 
Well, credit to the Titans for not only seeing that potential in you, but then cultivating that. And for your efforts and for their efforts, you were recently named to the Associated Press NFL All-Pro team. You're the first Ram since Shaquille Barrett. He was a pretty good one to do that. How did your time in Fort Collins best prepare you for success in the NFL? Yeah, I mean, Fort Collins is huge in preparing me for success. I mean, one of the major things that I thought in college that really helped me out was being able to start, you know, as a true freshman, getting that experience under my belt here uh, in Fort Collins. And, and uh, I really felt that that was so valuable for me. Um, I also felt that, like, really the coaching staffs that I had, you know, they gave me the opportunity to kind of do what I was good at, you know, help build the team around me. And, uh, you know, I thought that really helped me develop, let me kind of uh, blossom in that system, you know, get comfortable with hitting balls that I was comfortable hitting. And uh, I thought those two things really just kind of helped me, you know, develop. And, um, you know, I know we didn't have a great offense, you know, and, and I, that's not always the best, but I do think it did really push me to try to develop, you know, when we were backed up developing a longer punt or, you know, being comfortable backed up hitting a longer punt. So I think those kind of those three things were some of the things that helped me a lot in terms of developing who I am now as a punter. A punting in the Mountain West is so unique, probably more unique in college athletics than, than any other league in the country. So many different elevations, so many different weather patterns that you could encounter. All those things I'm, I'm guessing can change the ball flight. How did navigating those variables on, on a consistent basis over your career make you a better punter? Yeah. So really, I mean, a lot of it had to do, like you said, with the win. I mean, I remember getting into Fort Collins my freshman year. We played Wyoming in 2017. and It was the first time I'd ever played in the snow, let alone, you know, sub-zero temperatures. And, um, you know, that kind of stuff prepares you just being comfortable in those situations. I mean, you know, the wind in Fort Collins and stuff. I mean, it's pretty windy in Nashville, which I, I didn't expect when I first came here. And, um, but I've adapted pretty well, all because of being in the Mountain West and having to punt in different elements. And I was really like blessed to actually have those opportunities. And uh, it was huge. Uh, punting is in your blood. Your dad punted at Stanford, but it doesn't end there. Your uncle punted at USC, and then in the NFL with the New York Giants. Your uncle Jeff punted at Washington State. Your younger cousin punts at Missouri. I'm curious, what are Thanksgivings like at the dinner table? Do you guys all sit there and share best practices when it comes to punting? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of discussion about, about punting. Um, but it's really cool, you know. I mean, just having that that family environment, guys who have been through it, who have done it. Uh, my dad was my main coach. My cousin's coach was his dad. And, um, you know, just having that relationship and being able to share things and, you know, knowing that they've gone through similar things. Um, yeah, it's really it's really funny. I mean, we, we do talk a lot about it. And, uh, but it is pretty cool that it's in the family and that we all kind of get to enjoy that. So what does your off season look like and how do you prepare for an encore season? I'm not sure how you can top this, but what are you doing right now to maybe make a run at topping it next year with the Titans? Yeah. I mean, that's, what's kind of exciting that I feel, you know, I feel like there's a lot of untapped stuff. I mean, I, I feel like my hang time can still improve a lot. You know, I think that'll help my net punting out. I think my inside the 20, you know, just get raining a little bit more control in on some of those, those uh, pooches. Um, I think there is really a couple things that I can really work on and hone in and and, um, and improve for next year. I mean, yeah, that's one of the biggest things I want to work on this offseason is my hang time. Uh, I did that last year and it really worked. It really helped me uh, ultimately for the season. And so I think if I can, if I can, you know, continue that this year, um, I, I mean, I really do think I can improve. Uh, Ryan, it was great to run you down. Thank you so much for taking your valuable time and spending it with us. Congratulations on a record-setting rookie season with the Titans, and we look forward to more great things to come from you in your career. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. You bet. That's Ryan Stonehouse, former Colorado State Ram punter, now with the Tennessee Titans, who is now an NFL record holder and is featured in the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Curtis.